the function f is defined by f of x equals a times the square root of x plus b, where a and b are constants. In the xy plane, the graph of y equals f of x passes through the point negative 24, 0, and f of 24 is less than 0, which of the following must be true. So we're given this function f of x equals a times the square root of x plus b. And this information here about this point and this inequality, we have to see which one of these is true. So using the second piece of information first, we're given that f of 24 is less than 0. So f of 24 is equal to a times 24 plus b. We just plugged in the value of 24 for x. And we're told that this quantity is less than 0. OK. And since this square root is one of the terms in this multiplication, we know that this square root can never be less than 0 because square roots always give positive values. This means we can conclude that a has to be less than 0 in order for this inequality be to be true. Because it's saying that whatever's on this left-hand side here is a negative number, or less than 0. But since the square root cannot be negative, that means a has to be negative. OK, so let's keep in mind this conclusion. And let's use the second piece of information we're given. So the second piece of information says that this graph of f of x passes through the point negative 24, 0. So these are xy coordinates. So let's plug this in for x and y. So our f of x will look like this. a times square root of negative 24 plus b equals 0. So we're told that this a multiplied with the square root is equal to 0. And this means that one of these terms is 0. So we know that a cannot be 0 because a is strictly less than 0. This means that this quantity here, negative 24 plus b square rooted, must equal 0. So we can solve for the value of b now. Let's square both sides. So we'll just be left with negative 24 plus b on the left, and the square of 0 on the right. So 0 squared is just 0. Then we can add 24 to both sides to get rid of this 24 on the left. Negative 24 plus 24 is just 0. So we'll be just left with b on the left. And 0 plus 24 is 24. So we'll be left with 24 on the right. So now we're, we conclude that b must equal 24. And this means that the value of b has to be greater than a, since a is a negative number, since it's less than 0, and b is a positive number. So b must be greater than 0, which is the same as saying that a is less than b. So d is correct.